In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an exclamation mark logo command with Streamlabs chatbot. My name is Tri, and I make extremely support videos. It's means smarter, not harder. Before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Central European time, on Twitch.tv slash Tri. Hop in and ask anything you want. So to make a command, we need to make sure that we have our streamer account and our bot account linked. We do that in the bottom left here. Bot account needs to be linked and streamer account needs to be linked. Then what we do is we go to command in the left here. We're gonna click on the plus. We're making a command called exclamation mark lurk. So we're gonna make a lurk command. Lurk. We want to keep the cost on zero because this is the amount of currency from this tab you need to use. And you don't want that. You don't want them to spend currency on this. Then use its stream chat. This means that if somebody types exclamation mark lurk in your stream chat, this will work. We can also set it on whisper or Discord if you would link your Discord, but I would keep it on stream chat if I were you. Enabled, true, that means it's on. <laughs> then group general, this means that it will always work whatever you play. If you want this to only work for a certain game, what you can do is you can use these brackets, type game, like here in Overwatch. But we don't want to do that because we want people to be able to lurk all the time, so we keep that on general. We want everybody to be able to lurk, keep that on everyone, we can set it on regulars or FIPS if you would want to, but I would not recommend you do this. We can set a cooldown. I would leave the cooldown on zero and put the user cooldown on like five minutes. This way, everybody can lurk whenever, even if somebody just lurked, but the same person cannot lurk more than once every five minutes, because you know, once is enough, guys. As a response, we will type something like, have a nice lurk. Have a nice lurk. And then we want the bot to say the username. So we do, dollar sign username. This is code and it will transform into the person's username. So now it says have a nice lurk and if I type it, Trui. If you want to use emotes, you can use your own emotes. For example, if I type Trui love, this is one of my emotes, my cow with the heart will come up behind it. You can also make it Kappa, Kappa. But make sure that the capitalization that you write here is exactly the same as the ones in Twitch. If you use your custom bot and you want to use your own emotes, make sure that you pay for a subscription for your bot. Otherwise, you can only use the standard Twitch emotes. This is because only subscribers can use your emotes. They really need to give you one slot for free for your bot. <laughs> that would be so nice, Twitch, please. And then here, sound file. You can select a sound file if you like to. So you could make like a voice clip with have a nice lurk and then add that in here. If you want to know how you actually add the sound files, I have a video about that right here in the card above, but it will work fine without sound file. And then we click on submit. We can test this by going to console or by actually going to our Twitch chat. And then we can just type exclamation mark lurk. I have a couple of bots on, so Streamlabs is also reacting right now. Um, not with the proper capitalization. Consent. But this one is doing it with the right capitalization, like we see tree with a capital T. That's it. That's how you make a lore command with Streamlabs Chatbot. If you want to know more about Streamlabs Chatbot, I have a lot more videos about it. So just jump into this playlist with me and I'll see you there.